Okay, so we've made a couple of passes with this head. One thing that's interesting is I took a paint marker and I made a, a straight line all the way across this head. And if you look, it's very interesting to note where the machine actually cleaned up and where it didn't. There's actually low and high spots on this cylinder head. Um, if you put a straight edge on it, if you look at the ends, cylinder heads have a tendency to bow up in the middle. So if we look at the, actually look at the ends of this head, there's no <laughs> markings from my pen at all, but you get toward the center and you start to see high and low spots. Again, you get to the end of the head on the other side and there's nothing. It's all cleaned up. Simply because heads bow up in the middle and they have a tendency to have the most warpage in the middle. So when you're checking a head for warpage with a straight edge, we always want to check it in the middle because that's where you're going to find the most warpage. We need to check it along all these points. We need to check it straight across like this. We also need to check it diagonally in both directions. We're going to check it diagonally in this direction and we're going to check it diagonally in that direction. The reason that you take your straight edge and you go diagonally on there is simply because a, a head can actually twist. If the head is twisted but not warped, if you don't go diagonally with your straight edge like this in both directions, you can actually uh, not pick up any warpage at all and the head will be uh, twisted. So we can see that we obviously have more to mill off here, but I want you to see the fact that they definitely pull up in the middle and most of the warpage is going to be in this area. Uh, they have a tendency to want to pull away from that engine uh, in the center. However, they can pull up um, in any number of ways. Uh, they can pull up on the ends, they can twist on the ends, so you never want to take for granted that if you don't have any warpage in the middle, you don't have any on the ends or you don't have any twist. You may well have it. So you have to check all that stuff straight across and diagonally. So I'm going to go ahead and finish milling this because obviously it's not done. And I hope this gives you a little bit of insight.